Good evening, everybody. Shalisa Coher is back, and we are going places. And I want to share with you guys how I afford to travel just as much as I do, all the tricks to the trade, all the opportunities to look into, and all my sneaky dicky tips about how I've been able to travel and get good deals. So I want to share with you, first of all, about all of the business opportunities and the professional opportunities that have allowed me to travel. First of all, look for speaking engagements as an expert on your topic and look for conferences, look for retreats, look for training opportunities as well. For example, back in 2013 when I was a grad student, I joined the Autistic Self-Advocacy Network's leadership training and it allowed me to not only learn the skills that I need for this course and to teach other autistic people how to live their most fulfilling lives and advocate for their best life, but it also allowed me to lobby with senators and meet and understand the different levels of government and also take my campus leading leadership to another level. So not only did I have these skills or learn these skills throughout the conference and the training, but they also paid for my train ticket to get there. They paid for my accommodation. They even gave me a meal allowance and I even had some extra money left over after it was over. So that's one way to look at it. Look into trainings, look into conferences, like pick something, even if it's not autism awareness or autism advocacy, pick something that you're passionate about and see if they have a conference in it, if they've got you know, some type of training or whatever event that they may have. And look and see if the event coordinator has scholarships or grants or you know, pay for travel and accommodation because a lot of these, especially with nonprofits and you know, like any type of social organization like in my case autism advocacy a lot of the conferences that i found in autistic in autistic advocacy is a lot of them they tend to fund your travel they offer you know scholarships for lodging and things of that nature so they tend to help you with being able to afford to go there and while you're there like take in everything you can learn what you're there to learn but at the same time but at the same time, like take advantage of the free time that you have to explore the area that you're in and you know, do things around town and just like take in the culture of wherever you're at, should time, should time permit. The other thing that I did was last year, I attended like multiple conferences for life coaching and retreats. So if you're into life coaching, if you're into personal development, there's always the opportunity to attend the retreat. And many times the retreats have discounts for accommodation, airfare, they tend to get like group discounts whenever there's a booking or a group event, they tend to get like these discounts that are way less than what a typical everyday traveler would pay. So I suggest you think about that as well. It's a good opportunity to learn, network, and travel as well. And next I'm gonna share with you the financial side of how to get good deals and discounted trips on leisure trips. So number one thing that I always tell people is join groups, travel groups, lots and lots of travel groups if you want to find out about the latest deals, the websites and the tools to help you get discounted airfare, like severely discounted airfare. I join things like Girls Love Travel, um, travel blogger groups, um, She Travels the Globe, and just like a bunch of travel groups and travel bloggers that I follow, they oftentimes post deals and I also made friends with the people in the group so that they can you know, post the deals and I see them. And as a matter of fact, I recently got a $400 ticket from JFK to Bali based on looking at this deal that a friend of mine posted from the Girls Love Travel group. So me following these people and networking and making these connections has helped me to have access and see these deals as well and learn about these websites. And the other thing that I do, um, I've learned a few websites off of these groups that I follow. Um, one of them is called theflightdeal.com, and then the other one's called travelprivates.com. And throughout these deals and reading these different blogs, I have come to find these other websites where you can find like discounted airfare called justfly.com. And, and actually travelpirates.com is where I found the Bali deal. So every day they like, post this list of airfare deals from which airports are flying which deal and you see you know like the specials and which airports are flying there for that price and it's a good way to check out deals that are coming out and every day they have new updates as well 
and I also follow tripadvisor.com. So I signed up for their email list and their alert so that when I'm looking for a particular destination, they send me alerts as to when when the prices go down and I get alerts that way so that way I know when there's a discount and I can jump on it whenever it shows up in my email box. And then there's the Google matrix where I plug in, for instance, I plug in um, my ideal destination and you know my departure and all of that. And I type in, you know, which date that I have an idea of going. Now, ideally, they have a section where you can type in specific dates. But ideally, I actually like to type in um, a full month. And I let them show me the cheapest prices for that month. And then I choose, you know, like however many nights I want to stay. And oftentimes, you'll find that it's cheaper to stay longer. So I find that that way as well. And um, the other thing I also do is I look at hotel deals and I'm often I'm oftentimes checking Airbnb deals as well. I'm getting Airbnb credit by sharing my link with Airbnb credit. And these are the ways that I look and I find the cheapest deals as well when it comes to travel. Now, one thing that mm -hmm. I love to do and do this at your own risk, I don't advise this for everyone. However, it has worked for me. I signed up for the American Express um, Blue Sky credit card and they were offering a bonus that was equivalent to $400 worth of airfare. They were offering that bonus. So I signed up for that after I purchased my necessary purchases for the month and I paid them off immediately and I immediately got a bonus without even carrying the balance either. I got that bonus. So that's one way to look at it and I still use that credit card as much as I can and especially as they're offering rewards or triple rewards or multiple rewards. When they have specials like that, I'll use that and I rack up points that way. So. Just know that I've never paid anything more than $500 for a flight round trip in my life. Never in my life, not even to expensive Iceland, not ever. And it's because I utilize these tools to find the best deals. Bali, I got a ticket for over, for like $450, $452. But typically from JFK to Bali, it's over $1,000 at least. And I was able to get a ticket for $452 just because I followed my friend and I followed travel, travel pirates and they came out with this deal. So that's one option that I have for you guys. And also check out alternative accommodations as well. Like I use Airbnb most of the time, 99% of the time I find Airbnb. Sometimes you can get really good deals on Expedia or, you know, travel booking sites like Priceline or kayak.com or Orbitz or the various um, agents that they have online. Sometimes you can get really good, really good deals too. So don't always count on Airbnb. And always keep in mind too, never to assume that Airbnb is the only way. Like don't assume that it's the cheapest way. Because when I went to Iceland during the winter to chase the um, Northern Lights, I was actually shocked to see that um, the Airbnbs in Iceland were skyrocket high compared to the hotel that I got. And then the same hotel that I stayed at was way more expensive, way more expensive than I paid on hotwire.com, but it was more expensive on Airbnb. So some places, depending on where you go, some places Airbnb is higher. So I suggest you check out your options. Like don't rely on one option. Don't assume anything, like be open. And the most important thing that I have for you is this. Having a lifestyle where I have the freedom to not be chained to a nine to five, like building that lifestyle for myself really helped me with, it helped me wondrously because I'm able to be open to travel opportunities. I'm able to be open and be flexible because most of these deals that I'm talking about requires you to be flexible. Like they don't always happen on the day that you want them to happen. So yeah, they always require you to be flexible. And here's the thing. When I went to Hawaii, now a Hawaiian flight from the East Coast is typically like closer to $1,000. I got that flight for under $400. And here's the kicker on top of that. When I was actually taking my layover flight, I was having a layover in Atlanta and I was supposed to fly from Atlanta to Philly. When I was, you know, during my layover, I had a scheduled flight for I think 1 p.m. that day and they overbooked the flight. And so whoever volunteered to get on the next few flights got an $800 Delta voucher, which because I had the freedom and I was self-employed and I was able to respond to that. I was open to receiving that offer. I was able to sit out a little bit and get that $800 worth of travel because I made my life open to that opportunity. And that's something I want you guys to keep in mind too when it comes to travel. You have to be open to these opportunities. You have to make yourself available for them as well. And so I got $800 worth of vouchers just because I was able to delay my layover flight. And check this out.
it made me able to go to Iceland and other parts of Canada. And I was able to book that $800 flight for the, for the most that I can get out of it as well. Like I was able to get free travel just because of that. So these are some things I want you guys to keep in mind when it comes to affording to travel. I hope these tips have helped you today and I hope it's gonna help you go places. So I am going to end this video now and I hope these things have helped you guys out a lot. Awesome, have a good evening.